What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos. So, up to another article. It says, going to Ghana. Black Americans explore identity living in Africa. It's not all safaris and beaches. There's more than just what you think you understand about, or there's more than what you think you understand and what you think you understand about the continent and especially Ghana. Man, please spare me. Spare me. Y'all be talking about all this Ghana stuff. Man, get the hell out of here, man. I'd rather go to Guyana instead of Ghana. But anyway, I'm going to read part of this article. <clears throat> And I want y'all to tell me if I'm it, it, on my uh, I'm about to make a, a, a observation. And I want y'all to tell me if I'm right or am I wrong. It says on Africa's on West Africa's coast, Ghana is drawing black people from around the world. The region played a central role in the transat in the transatlantic slave trade. Last year marked 400 years since enslaved people arrived in America. It's been longer than that. And yeah, notice they said enslaved people. So that's telling you that there were people here before that. But anyway, um, <clears throat> and the country honored the resilience of black people with a year of return initiative, his historic tours, parties, celebrations, and the Afrochella Music Festival were arranged. And then it says, when we start with fun, they see that traveling to Africa is not so bad. Now, it's only 13 hours over the water. And that, that was said by Jewel Thompson, an and, and Atlanta native living in Ghana. Who gives a damn? Anyway, it's not all safaris and beaches. There's more, there's more than just what you think you understand about the continent, and especially about Ghana. Man, please, you say that because you're there. Probably got yourself a little wife. You living in Ghana. You all that. You know what I'm saying? We know how you, you now, now that you're out of America, you know, Ghana's all that. Please. Now the government is not. Now check this out. This, this, this is the meat of it right here. It says, now the government is expanding the idea with a new initiative beyond the return, which invites black people to invest financially and socially in Ghana. According to officials, the country is making a pathway to citizenship easier for foreigners and reforming the visa process to make the country more accessible to travelers. It hopes to increase tourist visits 1 million to 8 million by 2027. Tourist, not citizens. But anyway, now here's the meat of it. We feel that, and this is coming from the, 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 uh, the, the Ghanaian people. Or one Ghanaian person, he's representing the Ghanaians. We feel that given the wealth that African Americans and black Americans have, given that spending power, travel budgets of blacks in America, we felt that it's about time that we start that conversation. That, instead of moving to any other destination, come back to where you came from, said Akwesi, CEO of Ghana's Tourism Authority. We also felt that the history was not being taught. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, y'all. I, 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 I just want to reiterate. We feel that given the wealth that African Americans, he called you African Americans for one. How about Africans in America? That tells you he don't know the dynamics of what went on. But anyway, given that spending power travel budgets of blacks in america we felt that it's about time that we start that conversation that instead of moving to any other destination come back to where you came from <laughs> y'all got some damn nerve yeah y'all just hear that line so basically they just said you know what since y'all making some money now why don't y'all come over here and invest that money in us and you know we sent y'all over there I ancestors sent y'all over there so y'all go over here you know go over there in america get killed get maimed fight for your fight for your freedom you even fought for our Ghanaian behinds to come over here and everybody around the world to come to america we know y'all fought for that 
But we want y'all money. So come back home. Come back home. Invest in Ghana. Invest in the place that held you up under churches in chains while, and stuck you in boats while you were dying and being killed. Nah, y'all need to be held accountable for that, B. Hell with all that going back there. Screw that. What y'all investing your money there for when it's, when it's needed here? You know what I'm saying? Because we own this place too. We built it. You know what I'm saying? So all that hogwash that they putting up here. Going to Ghana, black Americans explore the identity living in Africa. And the dude who living in Africa, man, go ahead. They don't even see you as your people, bro. I've been there. Yeah, I've been to Ghana. Been there. Go ahead. I asked you, 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 nah, I ain't gonna get my birth certificate and show you all of that, but it got stamped. I was in Ghana, been there, and I talked to them people. And guess what? They do not see black Americans as they people. Many of the natives have told me that. Many of them, the ones that's there, not the ones that come here and get acclimated to us, not the ones who've been here, the ones who never stepped foot off that soil. I'm telling you what I know. You know what I'm saying? They see you as money. Even in my video, that I did, like, go go back in the archives, like 2009 or whatever it was that I did the video. I said the same thing. I said, yo, all they want is your money. He just proved it. They, they just proved it with this NBC News article that just told you. Since you making money, we want you to come back home and invest in us. Get the hell out of here. O&B signing out. Peace.